now we want to finally get round to actually writing a program to send something. Uh, remember in our folder called Delete Me down here, we'd um, bought some NXTB uh, examples.zip down from Dexter Industries website. Let's uh, extract all of those. I'm in Windows 7. The way I extract that is to uh, left click on them, uh, click on uh, Extract Me, click Extract, and it'll come down to uh, there you get NXT Complete Receive and NXT Complete Send. These are two sample programs. They're actually inside the folder NXTB Examples. If we close that, uh, you'll see there's an extra folder here that's come when we've unzipped that. This is the one that contains those two, the Send and Receive Examples. For this one, we'll open up the Send Example and explain that. To do that, we go to LEGO Mindstorms NXT2 and start that up. OK, and we can go and open. Now, the place that I've got that delete me file with all the uh, delete me folder, I should say, with all that is on desktop. I go to desktop, I go down until I find my delete me folder, double click on that. We've got NXTB examples here, double click on that and this one at the bottom we left click on that nxt complete send dot rbt that's the one we want click on ok and we get this program and this is the one that we've downloaded from dexter industries website now let's take a look at each of these in turn this one is the send text box if we go to here it's this one send text it's got a tail on it if you haven't contacted or haven't seen those before, perhaps I'll just temporarily add one of these text box here. Now, you can see that normally this cursor is an arrow. If I move it up here, it'll change to a, uh, a little cotton reel and to a double arrow if I get it just on the joint between those two. Now if I left click with that double arrow, see the tail gets longer and vanishes. Longer vanishes. That's the way you get the tail to and fro. OK, so let's delete this because we don't want to do that. I just press the delete key on my keyboard and go back to here. Now we've got what this block does is produced text words. It's got test one, two, three. This is what we're going to send across. And combined text is sent from this via this wire. Now, the wire goes into T, which is an input string. String is another name for text that computer scientists use. OK, so it goes into there. And this is our NXT block. Now, you'll notice that this says send up here, and that's because we've got send tick down here. You'll notice if I change that, delete that, that says read or receive. We don't want that. We want it to send. So we'll tick on that, and it'll be back to sending again. It'll send into the atmosphere uh, wirelessly through the NXTB whatever text we get from here. The text we get from here is text test sorry not text test one two three and we go back to here it will send a string that's another name for a text not numeric not boolean just a string it will send that string of text and it'll send it at a speed of 9600 there are higher speeds but the most reliable is the lowest speed 9600 so we'll choose that OK, so it sends the test123 wirelessly out from the NXTB, ready to be received on the other NXTB. It waits one second, time, one second, relate, and then it goes back. And it does this continually. This little thing like an 8 on its side is an infinity. It does it forever. So it'll go through that, produce this test123, send it to send, uh, to our NXT block, that will send it out into the atmosphere, it will wait one second uh, and it will go back and keep doing that. 
repeating that forever. This is the infinity sign. Uh, it'll keep repeating it forever until we turn off our NXT uh, robot. Use the orange. Uh, use the button below the orange button to turn it off. So that's our sending program.